Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another episode of How To Tuesday, where I, as a C6 quadriplegic, show you how I get stuff done. Thanks for joining me, and remember to like and subscribe. Everything that I talk about in this video will be linked below, so make sure you check those out if you have any questions. All right, everyone, I am going to show you how I shave. I've seen a lot of people out there that um, get shaved or they have certain kind of razors and stuff. And so I thought I would just put in my two cents. I have terrible facial hair. On the sides, it's basically nothing. It gets really patchy. I tried to grow it out once and got the nickname of patches at work. So I ended up just not growing it out and it's not great, it looks awful. So I have to keep it up and I have to shave every couple of days just to make sure that all looks good. Yeah, I know you think this face is just beautiful and perfect as is, but it takes a little bit of maintenance. Only a good part about my facial hair, in my opinion, is the goatee. It goes, it comes in nice and full, but I like to have it not super long because it gets super itchy and I hate it. So I'm gonna show you what I do to keep this all nicely quaffed. All right, number one is the hair gets everywhere. And so Sloan is not a fan of that. And I don't like to have to try to find a vacuum to clean it up. So what I do is one of two things, either when I am shaving out here, I'll use a towel or an apron. Today I'm gonna to use an apron. And um, most other times I will just, I will shave in the shower. So today I've got this apron. I'm gonna pop this on here, bring that around my neck and lay that flat. That way it doesn't get all over my shirt, even though it's still gonna get on my shirt a little bit, but it's easier to clean up with an apron. Are you wondering how I'm able to shave without working functioning fingers? What we've talked about in video one with tenodesis helps me grab and grip things. And then I'm able to just kind of push my hand on certain things to push a button. So for example, this is one razor I use to kind of clean up my sides and my neck. Um, I also have this razor. It is called the One Blade. It's awesome, highly recommend it. It's super easy to use and it shaves through basically anything. Typically what I will do is I would just kind of trim up the sides here then clean up with this. And then I have an attachment that I pop on with this to clean up the goatee. So let's see the magic happen. This is an attachment that I use to trim my goatee instead of shave it all the way off. The original package comes with different lengths that you can use for trimming your beard or goatee. Wow. It's really nice to be able to shave myself. That way I can kind of shape my look or do exactly what I want. Um, it's not hard at all. It's something things I've learned early on and using electric razors is super awesome. They're really easy to use and they do a great job. I've had, I've tried using straight razors that are a little more difficult at managing the shaving cream and stuff. But even before I was paralyzed, I never really did that anyway. I just think these work way better and they're a lot quicker. I'm all done with shaving. There's a little button right here on the bottom of this razor that I just push my thumb up against. So I actually mostly just push it against my thumb. And it pops up, lifts up like that. And then I just empty it into the sink. You do? I thought you threw that away. No, it's easier this way. And on the water, just spray and clean out the hands so that Sloan doesn't know and then she thinks I just throw away the garbage. That's right. All right, and then I take off the apron. Keep that all together and then I'll either just throw it like outside or throw it into the shower and then just when I shower the rest of the drain is super easy. And the last thing is I gotta take this thing off. So you take off the little attachment, run this. Both of these razors are waterproof. So very convenient. And just run it through the water, clean that off. It's a pretty quick cleanup. And you're all done. Featuring my cat. Blue. Thanks for watching everybody. Um, think, remember to like and subscribe, follow us on Instagram, Facebook, or TikTok. I will again link everything below. So if you have any questions on that, check out the links and let me know if you have any questions, if there's anything you'd like to see or how I do certain things, love to help you out. Thanks for watching again. Have a good week.